Hello everybody, this is Cyrus here, back with another video. Today we're taking a look at this Kawasaki Terry X4 side-by-side -side utility vehicle uh, made by Maisto. Here's the box for it. It's part of a side-by-side -side series. You have the Terry X4 in two color variate other color variations besides this yellow and black one you have a lime green with black and then a white with a slightly darker shade of green on the roll cage and hubcaps in addition we also have a yamaha rhino and a polaris r r z r x p this one's more for um recreation while the other guys are or can be used for both work and recreation uh the kawasaki terry x4 it's sort of in between as you can't really carry much cargo in the back of this thing and you'll find out why in a minute but it is possible to use it for some work at the same time like you could put some lighter loads in the back So starting off, we'll get a better look at it, and I went with a nice little mountain foresty backdrop for uh, this piece, considering you would find this mainly out in the wilderness. So you have your number 62, Maisto comple Completion, I believe. Some... I can't tell what quite what it says because it's kind of small. And you have the same on the other side. Hornet. Uh, written right along the side portion in red lettering. As well as it looks like a little picture of a hornet. And then a Maisto badge right there in the corner. Another 62 as well. Some black uh, flame decals. On the back, you have two hinges to access the utility bed, uh, which doesn't open or fold down, by the way, and then two lights. Other side is very similar, despite there being a little fuel cap. And then two silver headlights on the front portion. Oh yeah, interesting to note that with the back right here, like I said, you do have um, kind of a utility bed, but it's kind of interesting because it I don't know if this is like that in the real vehicle, but it's kind of connected to the seat, sort of. Also, from the way it's designed, you can't really tilt it like on um, some of the more uh, work and recreation side-by-sides. So I'm guessing that's a thing with the real-life version of this, most likely, but I don't know for sure. Uh, just based on the seat location and the roll cage and stuff. And... I also have a Matchbox version of the same side-by-side -side UTV, or UTV, and this was released for the Fallen Kingdom Jurassic World movie. The only thing that's notable is you don't have two rear seats, you just have the utility bed texture going in to the uh, passenger area a little bit right under the roll cage uh, all this silver here is metal plastic base plastic wheels obviously uh interior will be pla interior will be plastic and then this canopy will be plastic but there's definitely a large portion of metal being used on the outside portion and then this gray piece here is connected to the canopy there's not a whole lot of metal being used on this guy Really, the only part would be the canopy, screws holding it together, and the uh, axles. But I personally don't really care too much. I think it's a pretty good piece, in my opinion, when it comes to these side-by-sides, like the Polaris Rangers and stuff. These are the, these are stuff uh, vehicles I definitely like collecting. Uh, I do actually have the new Polaris Ranger that Matchbox came out with. Uh, for this year, the Polaris Ranger EV. I'll see if I can do a separate video on that. And finally, aside from displaying it on like some dirt trails, 
Another possibility for this is to use it as like a trailer display for when you have it on the back of your trailer and you're taking this because you can't really drive these on public roads. You can drive them in dirt roads outside the city or neighborhood, but really these are not meant to go on like paved road surfaces. So this is a trailer made by a die cast company called Welly. Um, it was part of a set that came with this uh, Ford, let me check, I think it was a Ford, some Ford F-150, I believe. Yeah, 2015 Ford F-1, let me check. I think it's either an F-150 or an F-180. Uh, but it was a 2015 Ford pickup truck that was part of this set. And then it also came with a Ford Mustang Boss that I believe was 19, 1970 Ford Mustang Boss. Uh, both of these have opening doors. This would go on the back trailer, but we'll do another video talking about that. But what's nice is this trailer is actually a very good scale for this Kawasaki side by side so you can drive it off the back of the trailer no problem display it rolling up onto the trailer which i think looks quite good you can even display it fully loaded on the trailer with either the ramp up and you st you're still preparing it either where it's preparing to drive off or it's just been loaded on or you could have the ramp up and you can drive off the pickup truck isn't really not the Terry X4 off the trailer by accident, but the pickup truck isn't really the best scale as it's a little bit taller. However, if you have a larger pickup truck that would actually scale well with this and scale well with the trailer, and it's also compatible with the trailer on that same note, then if you have this set and one of these Maisto side-by-sides, then definitely you can make a realistic uh, transport display if you wanted to. So there's my video on the Kawasaki Terry X4. You can let me know in the comments what you think down below. Until then, we'll see you in some more videos very soon. So have a good, safe rest of your day, guys. Bye.